Hey everybody, Last Outrider here, bringing you another episode of What is Rogue Trader? I know you're all excited. This time we're dealing with what is the Imperial Cult, or the Ecclesiarchy. More specifically, what was it 25 years ago as opposed to today? Here we go. The Emperor is a being of godlike powers. Indeed, it is common for the citizens of the Imperium to honor their emperor as a god, especially amongst primitive or degenerate planets. This deification of the emperor is not officially recognized, but is accepted and even encouraged within the Adeptus Terra. The emperor, for his part, suffers from no illusion about his humanity and sees himself only as the first servant of mankind. However, even those who work close to the Emperor, members of the Adeptus Custodes and Adeptus Mechanicus, are riddled by superstition and fervor. This has led to a general acceptance of the Emperor's deification and establishment of the Imperial Cult. This cult was envisioned as a means of reinforcing loyalty amongst primitives feral worlds and the undereducated levels of society. However, over the centuries, the cult has become more generally accepted and is even its administrators have become believers. The cult organization, sometimes known as the Adeptus Ministorum, is a division of the Administratum, the ministry which runs the Holy Synod of Terra. Oh, I'm sorry. The ministry is run by the Holy Synod of Terra, whose members all hold the rank of Cardinal. The chief, known as the Ecclesiarch, is elected from amongst their number by the Synod. The organization is also known as the Ecclesiarchy, for this reason. Although the organization is technically subordinate to the master of the administratum, the ecclesiarch is an extremely influential and almost invariably included amongst the high lords of Terra as an administratum representative. The working priests of the Ecclesiarchy are fully initiated members of the Imperial Cult, known as Preachers. Senior Preachers may be placed in charge of a mission of up to several hundred Preachers, and dispatched to spread the word amongst the unenlightened worlds. The principal tenets of the Imperial Cult are the... Oh, precaution against mutants, the abhorrence, abhorrence of aliens, and the worship of both the emperor and imperial ideals. That's one that is uh, left out a lot when you hear about the imperial cult these days. It's not just the emperor. It's also the veneration of imperial ideals. By increasing the awareness of these dangers albeit in a relatively unsophisticated way. The Adeptus Ministorum makes the job of the Inquisition that much easier. However, missionaries do sometimes come into conflict with Inquisitors as their fields of responsibility overlap. Yes, there will obviously be several parts dealing with what is the Inquisition in Rogue Trader coming up after this. Trained preachers administer the rights of the imperial cult to devotees all over the imperium, the army, navy, and all branches of the Adeptus Terra have preachers within their ranks. As well as common preachers, there are special officers empowered to conduct the most important cult rites. The most common of those are the confessors. Confessors are highly experienced individuals who 
whose success as preachers had led to their elevation to confessors. They travel from planet to planet, spreading the faith and holding evangelical rallies. New cult recruits are encouraged to confess personal mutations, as well as mutations or strange behaviors amongst their friends and relatives. Confession is not necessarily good for the soul, but it does help the process of mutant control, which is vital to the future of humanity. So you got that? Confessors and all of that? What they're really talking about, what they're really talking about originally with the ideals of the Imperial Creed was actually just to root out mutation. And the other ideals that they're talking about, which I'll go into in other episodes, is basically they don't like the ideas from Xenos or alien cultures influencing human society. That would be the other thing. A classic example of this is the Tau and Eldar. Many humans and many human worlds suddenly start seeing their ideals of the greater good or things like that, and they start incorporating it into human society. This would be an example of heresy. Uh, people having an apparently mutation and everything like that is another. So when they're talking about confession and everything like that, it's much different than what people think about it today. As the power of the Adeptus Ministorum has grown, so a multitude of suborganizations have developed within the compass of the ecclesiarchy. An interesting example of this is, yes, listen to this very closely, people, because this is something that I've explained to people for a very, very long time, and they just do not believe me. Here's your proof. The ecclesiarchy, and, and wait, an, an interesting example of one of the sub organizations of the ecclesiarchy is the Adepta Sororitas. That is correct. The Sisters of Battle were in Rogue Trader. That's just a pet, a pet peeve of mine, uh, who think that they're just an add-on army that came on some point in time in the future, whatever. They're right here. I'm reading it to you. That's why I'm reading this section. Adepta Sororitas, an order of devotional warrior women. The Adepta is organized along similar lines to the Space Marines. The sisterhood, as it is generally known, is led by an abbess and includes many lesser ranks and offices in a similar way to the Adeptus Ashtarte. There are two covenant fortresses, the Sanctum on Earth and the Prioress on Ophelia IV. The personal fleets of each fortress are commanded by a prioress under the direct supervision of the abbotus on earth. The Adepta Sororitas is a penitent organization where constant hardship, deprivation, and arduous work are a part of an unrelenting devotional regime. The slightest deviation from approved stricture results in the severest of chastisement. Unquestioned loyalty to the imperial cult is vital because the sisters are expected to maintain a close eye upon all, all servants of the imperium. Every single day, Squads of battle sisters descend upon unsuspecting departments of Adepta Terra, administrating genetic and psychological tests in order to expose wrongdoers, mutants, and malcontents. Whole companies of battle sisters travel out to war zones on the fortress monasteries of the Adeptus Ashtartes. And, I'm sorry, not on and to the fortress monasteries of the Adeptus Ashtartes, to the fleets, and to the scattered worlds of the Imperium. No one, 
is free from their vigilance. That's the sisters of battle. And that's how I continue to see them. So for all the people who gripe and complain about how things have changed over time or what the sisters are now, I refer them back to this nice little section of Rogue Trader and say, that's what I'm sticking with. Until next time. Bye.